Okay, class, um, we're in the vendors and purchases section of the software. We're going to add a vendor. We're using the same naming convention that's currently with this particular demo. I'm going to copy this address so I don't have to repeat it to the remit address. Okay. And I'm going to give us a vendor type of construction. And I'm going to put the account category. And you can see it comes straight up. But I don't want direct labor. I want it to be subcontractors, miscellaneous. Using this particular file is one, one thing that's very important to note. Once you leave the system, you will lose everything you've done. So it's important to start and complete everything in one process. So if you're working on entering invoices, key everything in, run your reports, and then exit out. Otherwise, you'll have to redo. So we've entered the information. We've entered everything, I think. Purchase information, we're going to accept the default terms, which is 30 days um, or 10 days 10% um, discount. Everything else seems to be fine. We don't want to put anything in the tax ID, and we don't have any different, any special um, addresses. So now we just want to save what we've done. And we will now we want to close. That is step one of handling transactions within Peachtree. The second process I want to try to get through today, let's see if we can move our screen up a little bit so we can see a little bit better. There's so many different options you have available. Let's see. Okay. We're going to move this screen over just a little bit. Okay, now we already in, we're still in vendors, but I want to go down a little bit so you can see everything. The next step in our process is purchase orders, and we're going to enter a, a purchase order real quick. And then if we have time in this one, we're going to enter a we're going to enter a bill straight from the purchase order. And then our next video we will be working on paying that bill. So let's do that. Let's click on this little button here, and then you can take a look. It gives you that option of new vendor, a new, new purchase order. So here I go. I'm going to get Alex, and I'm going to tab through. I don't want to go to these different options because they're good. They're fine. This is going to be 16, 2015. Notice that we're using the 15th, uh, 2015 date. I'm going to give that purchase order number, and then we're going to be purchasing two hours of his service. And item here is where you are set up different items that you want to track. They're already set up for you, so it just makes it a little easier for us. We don't have to add anything, but you can add when you're here. It makes it so much easier to do it all on one screen. But since it's already added, we're going to select from what's already here. And I'm going to give him a landscaping um, We're not buying a service. We're actually dealing with, let's see, I'm trying to find his service. Give me a second. We have a service here. Okay. Let's purchase from him a feeder
and that's also from him. Let's order 15 of these. And let's purchase something else. And let's purchase also a fabricated birdhouse. We're going to get the large. Say OK. Hopefully this works. OK, let's do. There we are. OK. Now we're purchasing inventory items. And it looks like everything passed through fine. We are just about done. Now what I'm going to do is save what we've done so far. I can get this to cooperate with me for a minute. Let me see. Okay, so now we're going to finish this transaction. I want to make it a little bit bigger so we can actually go all the way down. And I'm going to save it. Hopefully it saves. I'm going to click save. It looks like it's okay. I click the save button. It looks like it's fine. I'm going to close. So we've done two things. We've done, we've entered a new vendor and we have entered a purchase order. Now what we're going to do is enter a new bill. And we're going to enter a bill based on our purchase order that we set up. And now we're going to go select. At the, if you look right here, you'll see PO selected. I'm going to click onto the PO that we've actually done. And then using my tab key, move this a little bit up a little bit so we can see. I am going to now say we're going to pay for these. We received two. So I'm going to go here, 2.00 that we received. It should automatically calculate. And we received 15. So it should automatically calculate. And now we have entered the bill. And I'm just going to tap through it and automatically calculates that. Now I'm going to put the invoice number on here. And the invoice number I'm going to give it is 2015450. And everything else looks fine. I mean, I'm going to leave the date as it is. Three, I'm going to put the date as 320. That's when we received it. And everything else, I'm going to leave the same. So it looks like the PO is fine. We've got the vendor. We've actually called up the PO. So now it's the, the invoice is going to be charged against the PO. We've um, actually entered the amount that we received, put in our invoice amount, and now we're going to save. Okay, I'm going to close the screen, and we're going to stop right here. The next step will be to pay the bill. I'm going to stop here and give you a chance to think about the steps that we followed, and we will pick it up with paying the bills.